Hi, I'm Madeline Ball, and among my many hats, I am Director of Research at Harvard PGP. And, uh, and so I don't have any slides. I'll give a brief update of, some of, of all the cool stuff we've been doing this last year. So in the last year, we have actually released a number of genomes, 126 to be exact. Genomes have been released back to participants, and uh, almost all of them are public. There's like a 30-day period, and a lot of them are going to become public in the next couple weeks automatically. And what's cool about our genomes, of course, is they're not just genomes, but there's other stuff attached. These people all filled out surveys to get 239 trait uh, data associated with them. And they're also a high, kind of cool technology, LFR technology, which means that long fragment read, which means they're all uh, phased. Great data. And around that data release, uh, we also put to, uh, invited individuals to engage in the People Seek Consortium's surveys. This is a study uh, and a group uh, led, led by Robert Green, which does surveys around the process of receiving whole genome data. And, uh, and they are working with a lot of other groups, including like Illumina UIG, to understand like what does it mean for the person when they get this data? What do they read into it? How do they react? Uh, like uh, a lot of different questions. Some of my favorite questions are like, do they plan to share it? Do they want to share it before they get the data? After they get it? How does that change? Uh, in addition to those data, uh, we, we also saw an offer made by Veritas uh, to sequence PGP participants for uh, $999, which uh, I don't have the exact number on this one, but I'm, I believe it's well over 50 participants went and paid for their own genomes so that they could give them to research. And I mean, see them themselves, but like making them public domain data, I think that's really cool. Uh, I'm also uh, uh, co-founder of this Open Humans project that we've, you've probably heard about uh, and we also sent an invitation out to Harvard PGP participants, and uh, just that one invite brought over 600 PGP participants into Open Humans, uh, especially the ones with genomes. This is uh, really cool because that means that you can go in Open Humans and immediately create a project and invite these PGP participants to start contributing their data and working with your project. So I think that's cool. So that closes my updates for Harvard PGP. We're looking forward to doing more cool stuff in the coming year.